In one of the previous videos we uh, looked at uh, DEC MCP4922 and found that it's uh, good enough for our purposes. Uh, now it's time to connect it to the operational amplifier so that we can drive a laser galvanometer using it. Uh, but before that we need uh, to do some calculations for the resistors uh, for the output of the MCP4922 and the gain control of the amplifier. For this we will use this page uh, for MCP4922 uh, bipolar operation. Um, it has the schematic uh, which pretty much exactly what we will use and also at the bottom there is an example uh, that is very relevant to our case it's just we need different voltages both uh, input and uh, output but uh, the uh, idea is pretty much the same uh, so we would need the reference voltage and uh, the easiest way for that is to uh, take the 3.3 volt output um, of uh, Adafruit Haza and uh, create a voltage divider. So we would uh, take a 10k uh, potentiometer and then get 1.6 volts uh, out of it uh, that will be our V ref um, it doesn't have to be uh, a strong signal because uh, we will be buffering it uh, inside the MCP 4922 So now well, what we need, we need the, our uh, VO over here to go from minus 13.5 volts to plus 13.5 volts. Uh, that is when the, uh, out, uh, the digital value that we want to set goes from 0 to uh, 4096. So we should write that if D is equal to zero then our VO should be 13.5 volts and if D is equal to 4096 then VO should be oh sorry v, in the, if D is equal to zero then VO should be minus uh, minus 13.5 volts and when D is 4096 then V0 is 13.5 volts okay uh, gain select is going to be equal to 2 in our case that's programmable using uh, the SPI interface uh, we will uh, use trimmers uh, for the uh, pair of resistors R3 and R4 and R1 and R2 so uh, we will use 100k uh, trimmers so that means that R1 plus R2 is going to be 100k and the same for R3 and R4 they are also going to be 100k so uh, now uh, the only thing that we need to do is is to uh, put these values the one that we want in the case 1 and 2 into these formulas and then solve um, for R1, R2, R3 and R4 and uh, if uh, we do it correctly then it will turn out that R3 Uh, let's see where the best place to write that. R3 is going to be 11k and uh, uh, 
correspondingly R4 is going to be 89k. For R1 it's going to be also around 11k and correspondingly R2 is going to be 89k. Now these values for resistors are pretty high and so uh, this capacitor that is smoothing uh, out the uh, output of the GAC will have to be reduced for our purposes. So, in, so instead of 0.1 microfarad we will uh, use 10 nanofarad uh, capacitor, so 10 times smaller. And that's about it. That's uh, the schematic that we just need to implement and test it out.